so then folks here we are again in Dumbarton and uh, as some of you will know I am partial to a drop of Ballantine's whiskey um, I have done a previous video on uh, Ballantine's whiskey and I did say that uh, although it's not actually distilled in Dumbarton anymore there is still a warehouse uh, where it's kept and it's in a part of Dumbarton called Dumbuck and there we go so Ballantine's is actually owned now by the Chivas brothers um, not too sure where Chivas brothers are from but uh, yeah it's no longer owned by uh, by Ballantine's uh, just look at that lovely backdrop as well on this warehouse here, it's amazing. But uh, I believe the um, the actual warehouses straddle this road as well, because there's another entrance across the road there, as you can see. But uh, one of the main reasons why I've brought you here is to show you um, the uh, steel geese that have been erected. here to commemorate something that used to be called locally the Scotch Watch. Uh, again, like I said on a previous video, um, I did explain that uh, uh, Ballantines, when they were in Dumbarton, they employed, I don't know whether they got paid or not, they probably got paid in corn, um, they employed some geese to watch over uh, the whiskey. Uh, to warn the people that work there if there are any intruders uh, and they were known as the Scotch Watch and sadly the Scotch Watch are no more um, not too sure what happened to them I think they're long gone anyway because that is a long time ago now so uh, this is what is here to commemorate the Scotch Watch I believe uh, please tell me if I'm wrong on that one but uh, yeah there you go There's some geese so to be fair they are still watching over the uh, the Ballantine's whiskey but uh, sadly that is all that is left um, of Ballantine's within Dumbarton. Uh, let's see what this says. Some kind of old inscription. I can't actually read it. Oh, it's a mile marker. So Glasgow, it's 13 miles. Can't really read what that says. Something Dumbarton. But uh, yeah, it's quite a big warehouse facility. This actually, it is quite big indeed. I didn't realise it was going to be this big. But uh, I would imagine they can. Uh, certainly store a few barrels of whiskey or bottles of whiskey or whatever it is because like I say it actually straddles both sides of the road so yeah we're in an area of Dumbarton called Dumbuck and like I say it covers a big area so like I say I am partial to uh, to a drop of the old Ballantines but uh, yeah wherever wherever you're watching this from in the world uh, this is probably where your uh, your dram of uh, of Ballantines comes from, but uh, anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you uh, when I'm on my way out of Dumbarton, uh, heading back into Glasgow now. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining me on uh, on this little walk that we've had. Um, if I've bored you to death, I do apologise. Please uh, please dislike the video, but uh, if you've enjoyed it and you've always wondered. Uh, where your whiskey comes from, your Ballantine's whiskey. Um, it will probably be from one of these warehouses. But uh, anyway, I tell you what, I'll shut up for now and I'll see you, see you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.